In this video we're going to talk about TTC early, Treasure Trove Cove early. Um, in this trick we're going to pretty much get into Treasure Trove Cove without opening it, which saves two jiggies in so many percent categories. So we're going to get out of bounds on the cannon here, and then swim under the water through to Treasure Trove Cove and enter the chest from underneath. Now this trick is different between the PAL and NTSC versions. So NTSC versions are like the US and Japanese versions. PAL is at places like Europe and Australia and so on. So if you're not sure which version you have, when you boot up the game and go into file select, if you have the PAL version, you will have a language selection screen between um, English, French and German. And if you have the NTSC version, you will have no language select screen. And it'll either be in English or Japanese. So Right now, I'm on NTSC. In the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to clip out of bounds on NTSC. Then I'm going to swap to PAL and show you how to clip out of bounds on PAL. And then I'll show you all the navigation to get to the chest all on PAL. Um, the clip out of bounds is much, much easier on PAL due to the lower frame rate. Um, so that's why I'm doing all the navigation there so I can get out of bounds easier. So yeah, if you have NTSC, this trick is harder, but NTSC is a little bit faster for um, most categories. So, all right, let's get started. So I'm on NTSC right now. Um, another way that you can check is on NTSC, you can flutter cancel. So like, um, I'm bad at flutter canceling. Anyway, you can press A quick enough that you'll hit the ground. On PAL, you can't do that. Um, Alright, so let's... first method is to face the wall here, and then poop eggs. So this is on NTSC, this method. Six eggs. And then you try and jump in. Alright, there we go. So that's one method to clip out of bounds on NTSC. And then I'll see if I can show you the nav to get into the actual level. Um, hopefully I can. Yeah, so that's how to do a TTC early. Normally the chest will be closed when you do TTC early. Um, th that's in a run, but just for practice it doesn't matter if it's open. But if you're practicing and you've been into TTC, you'll get this crab here. Make sure that you kill that crab because it will cause a little bit more lag. So if you're practicing, you want to have the lag just as if you were doing it in a run. And in a run that crab wouldn't be there. So kill it and collect its health if you're practicing. Anyway, so we just saw the first method for clipping out on NTSC. Um, that was pooping eggs like that. Um, the second method is... Oh, I might not have mentioned that you need the camera zoomed in as well. So, fully, fully zoomed in and pooping eggs. Six eggs and then jumping. Anyway, second method is to have the camera zoomed in as well. Uh, have it parallel with the wall. And then you'll notice if you start trying to turn right a little bit more, the camera won't get happy, it'll start zooming in and shaking and stuff. If you turn right even more, it'll flick around. You don't want it to flick around. Um, you want it to be about here. So Banjo's a little bit to the right, not completely forward. Then quickly, as quickly as you can, let go of R and Talon Trap and then jump into the wall. So you need to let go of R before you press C left to get to Talon Trap. Um, so this method works really well on PAL. It's okay on NTSC, not fantastic, but there you go. That was TTC early clip with no eggs on NTSC that I did just then. So it's not too bad. It's a good method to keep in mind, especially if you don't have eggs. And um, you can even use this method on poop eggs. like that. So yeah, um, and then yeah, as I, as I showed earlier, you can actually get it without eggs on both PAL and NTSC. PAL and NTSC.
It is very hard to get it without eggs though. Anyway, um, now I'm going to switch over to PAL and we're going to go over how to clip on PAL really, really consistently and then a lot of stuff about the navigation. Alright, so this is PAL, as you can hopefully see by it being in German. Um, Alright, so TTC Early is really, really good on PAL. Um, so yeah, PAL is a little bit slower overall for the run, but this trick is fantastic on PAL. So basically do what I did on MTSC, and that's free. So turn the camera around, so it's parallel with the wall. Um, get it so that Banjo is facing a little bit to the right, let go of Iron Talon Trot, and then jump through. There we go. And I did clip out of bounds there, but I accidentally went back in. Alright, now that we're in, I'm going to go over how to do the navigation part of it. So I want to get basically into this position. So Banjo is here. He can be a little bit to the right, that sometimes helps. And the camera is pretty much facing forward. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can use duck and R to line the camera up. So then you want to jump off, flutter into the water and mash B to dive. Now with the water bit, if so if you go too high you're gonna land on the water. It land on the top like over the sand and in bounds. If you go too low you're gonna fall down into the void. The area that you can actually get into the water is very very small. Um, uh, like it's a small window in your height position. So if you do go too low by just a little bit, you can sometimes save it by doing a ground pound. The start of the ground pound gives you a little bit more height and you sometimes get in the water that way. So if you go too low, wait a little bit and then ground pound. Um, if you ground pound too early, even if you were too low and you ground pound too early, you can end up in bounds again. So when I got into the water, I mashed B and I'm in the water now. So I'm going to hold B to swim, hold B and R and pretty much down on the joystick and a little bit to the right. So pretty much down right in this little nook here. Um, all right. For one, two flaps. Now, um, I really messed it up here. <laughs> um, so if you do mess it up, yeah, it's bad. Um, try again, pretty much, if you mess it up. Um, the reason I didn't get it was pretty much just because I paused and all of my timing was off. But anyway. Um, so that's an example of going too high in the water. to talent truck. Right. So down right, you're holding down right this whole time. And then, all right, so you're holding down right to the first flap. And then at some point you're swapping to down. So pretty much you're landing in the water around here. And then um, you're gonna be your nose is pointing downwards, so you're going to have to hold down this whole time to swim back up. And that'll take about two flaps. What you want to do is you want to swim forward and then sort of across here. And then you want to end up um, somewhere around here. Not too close, because you really do need time to line yourself up. You want to end up somewhere around here and really, really close to the surface. 
without going too high that you go back in bounds. Then what you want to do is you want to so get yourself really close to the surface and about here and then swim forward. So you're holding B to swim forward. And then after you think you've passed this, um, there'll be no water. So Banjo will start falling. And that's when you want to mash A. So when I was doing this, for the first few months of doing this trick, I was trying to time the A press. Because um, generally I recommend timing things over just mashing. But um, that really wasn't working for me. So this is a very rare case where I would actually recommend mashing instead of trying to time your A press. So when you think you've gone past here, you mash A. And then when you think you're under the chest, usually in this cornery bit, you ground pound. So, camera fully zoomed in. Go over here. In fact, you can even... Um, so if you're coming in here, if you're really game... You can even do this setup without um, leaving Talon Trot. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, but ducking does help you line it up. Alright, so down right is being held down now, and you can see I'm here. So that's that was too high, and it was a little bit far away from the chest, but it was an okay position. See how I ground pounded there? Um, so I ground pounded and end up in bounds, but if I ground pounded a little bit later, um, I would have got into the water and saved it. So one of the hardest parts for me is actually getting into the water, um, but luckily it's pretty quick retries on power. Alright. Alright. Now, you can use C up to line yourself up as well if you want. So pretty much what you want to do is get here and then swim forward. So I'm going to hold B and then when I um, leave the watery swimming style, I'm going to mash A and ground pound. So that was a little bit too low. Um, that's all right. And I don't usually see up, but you can do it if it helps. So get here, and yeah, that was too high again. Um, it's a these are very tight windows in terms of not going in bounds. So that's an example of saving it with a ground pound. Um, so again, a little bit too low, and it was not a super direct line to the corner of the chest. That was another issue there. So that was good. Um, so that was high enough and sort of, um, yeah, at the right sort of angle. So yeah, you want to be really careful of um, going too high or going too low, really. And I've sort of recently started swimming up at an angle to this. So um, I'm down here. I would be too low to get it if I swim straight, so I start swimming up a little bit. Here. Um, that's alright. So, the method that I just did is like how I do it in runs. Um, but when I first started, what I'd recommend you to do is just start by trying it with C up. So, use C up to stop yourself and then use that to figure out where you are and what you're going to do. Gives you a lot of time to work with. So yeah, as you can see, getting into this water is quite tricky. Um. 
So, there we go. Now you can see I'm a little bit low, so I'm going to swim up. And then, now I'm a little bit higher. I'm lower than I would like, but if I swim up further, I'm probably going to go inbounds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get out of C up, hold B, and mash A. That was very low, but if I was just that tiny little bit higher, like I said, then um, it would have worked, probably. And yeah, I used to be a lot better at C upping, but now that I haven't done it in a while, I'm much better at just using the A button to stop myself from swimming. Alright, try one more. So yep, want to be a bit higher. Here we go, this is quite alright. Um, so yep, get forward. Hold B. Yeah. Low once again, but you can imagine that you would be higher and then, yeah, you'd get into the chest. So, this trick is very, very hard. Um, the, yeah, it just takes a lot of practice, and I would recommend starting with C up, but eventually swap it into using A to line yourself up a little bit more. So anyway, yeah, that's, that's all that I have about this trick, and thanks for watching. Leave any questions in the comments if you have them as well.